All right, adventurers, welcome to all play. Uh, today we're about to start playing Pikmin 2. I had, I genuinely had the most fun I've ever had in a long, long time when we did the Pikmin playthrough. That was so much fun. I, I legitimately enjoyed the challenge. I did not think I was going to be able to beat it at all, let alone with a few extra days. So we're going to hop into Pikmin 2, which I remember enjoying so much more, so much more than the first Pikmin game. Uh, in case you didn't catch that playthrough, the link will be in the description below where you can check out that playthrough. I've actually never seen the demo for this. Normally, I just hop right in. Um, if you're interested, oh, of course my controller doesn't work. Give me a, give me a second. If you're interested, if you would be interested in catching that playthrough from start to finish, the link's in the description below where you can catch the entire playthrough. As for right now, we're going to hop into Pikmin 2. Okay, uh, uh, I don't think I need to change the options, but we're going we gonna to look at some options. We'll look at some options. Language. Yes, all of these. All of these are true. Yeah, let's create it. Let's create some save data. That way you guys know. Listen, I haven't played this in the longest. It's going to be it's going to be a holy mess just like the first playthrough. <laughs> but let's get started. And of course, like I said, we're doing a very new file. Hockey Tape Freight is a long-haul deep space shipping company. One day, its only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, crashed on an uncharted planet while on an interstellar vacation. There, he was aided by indigenous creatures, which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped. But in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hogatate Freight, ran into financial difficulties. <coughs> So basically, this game's picking up almost immediately where the previous game ended. Captain Olimar, you see he's in the he's in the spaceship from the last game. Playing the Hakatate. I believe it's canon that he completed the entire ship. I believe the canon ending is that he got off the planet before the end of the last day with all of the all of the equipment. President Hakatate and uh, its employee Louie. Olimar, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad. Quite glad. But sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. Our first mission. On our first mission, Louis here met a ravenous space bunny. And its entire load of Golden Pick Pick brand carrots was eaten. Remember, the Pikmin are based on these carrots. I took out an enormous loan to repay the debt from this loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. <laughs> but the only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan. Mm, bruh. We have no means to repay it. Remember, that was one of the heirlooms from his kids. Olimar, what is that? You brought that back as a souvenir for your kid? I'm sorry, for the kid. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Money, 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 money. Initiating valuation of recovered treasure. This artifact is worth... 10, oh, I'm sorry, 100 Pocos. The thing's worth 100 Pocos? That's more than a year's salary. What? There are more on that planet? They can repay our debt? Louie, you don't. Look alive. You must depart immediately with Captain Olimar.
All right, so we're going to the Valley of Repose. Maybe. Aw, oh, snap. So it seems as though... Seems as though our boy Louie has gotten loose. Yep, Olimar made it just fine. That was close. I have a verge of crash landing. Running diagnostics. Alert. Danger. Louie is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either flouting protocol or in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. Wait a moment. Look. Ha! Our boys are back. Could this be Pikmin? They look like they are about to be devoured as we speak. You must help them quickly. Press B to call them with your whistle, Captain Olimar. You can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry farther. Remember? All right, so for the most part, the controls of this game are very similar, almost identical to the previous one. The Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar. How fascinating. Okay, so if they remember us, it looks like we're back on the very same planet we want, uh, we were on previously. Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold A to grab a Pikmin and release to throw it. All right, and of course, we're going to want to hit our boy here. We're going to want to hit the ball board. Call our boys back. Let's see. Now they'll remember they're gonna carry this to the onion. Let's see if there's an onion anywhere nearby. Attention, Captain Olimar. I have just reestablished my communication link with Louis. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I am quite interested in the details of his condition. Okay, so one thing that's very different. Actually, you, you clowns sit still. One thing, I'll, I'm going to take my time here uh, because just like the previous game, the first day only lasts long enough for you to figure out the basic controls. Once you, get un once you understand the controls and the mechanics of the game, the day is over. Uh, one thing that is vastly different, vastly different, is that instead of just controlling Olimar, I can also control... Oops, wrong button. I can also control... Louis. Louis. Louis, allow me to assess your condition as per our safety protocols. Are you at all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. <coughs> Press start to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Basically start it so that I can look at the map. And the map actually is a little bit better this time around. Uh, it looks like, okay, so on the map, uh, that blue triangle is Louie. Looks like dead ahead of us is an onion. And then through here and up through here, we have Olimar, the red arrow, as well as the Pikmin around him, those red dots. Okay, dope. Simple as that. This game, let's see. Uh, I guess I guess now's a, a good a time as any. Actually, not even, because I know we're about to get into a thing already. Mm -hmm. Louis, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report.
We all know the deal from here. The seed the onion ejected just sprouted. According to Olimar's report, it can be plucked with A. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit there for a little second. Uh, I believe the reason this game is so much like the previous one, but so much different, and I'm actually gonna get into how different it is later on, is because of the response to how hard the previous game was. I won't say that this game is super easy, but, but there's a lot less risk of loss. Oh, I took too long, and the game's gonna tell me again. Pluck the thing. Louie! The sprout that recently emerged is emitting a strange light and swaying hypnotically. According to Olimar's exploration report, you should be able to pluck this sprout with A. All right, I get it. I took too long. I'm sorry. Louie, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It is staring at you. You can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even direct its movement. You can disband your squad with X. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling Pik Pik carrots was strikingly accurate. Louie, my sensors have detected drool in your, the corner of your mouth. Are you all right? All right, so we use the Pikmin to do Pikmin things. I'm just going to gather these pellets. I believe it's probably going to tell me all the stuff that we are already familiar with, just in case you are not. It's going to carry this pellet all the way back to this onion so that more Pikmin can grow. The number on top is how many Pikmin I currently have carrying any item, not just pick pellets. And then the number on the bottom is how many are required to carry it. So as long as it matches or there's more on top than there is on bottom, then it's, it's going to be able to be carried. <coughs> the onion ejected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients, haul them to the onion, and further propagate the species. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. Reviewing Olimar's report, it seems repeatedly tapping A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. Okay, so one thing that you can also note is that there is a one on that pellet. That typically means that if I uh, have this Pikmin take the pellet back to the onion, then one Pikmin will sprout forth from the onion or one Pikmin seed will sprout forth from the onion and go into the ground. However, if the color of the pellet matches the onion that it's taken to, then what happens is you actually get a bonus amount. I believe last time I determined it was about 25% rounded up. So he's going to get a bonus. This is one this is one pellet, so I'm going to get one seed normally. It's going to get a bonus of 0. 0.5, which means 1.5 1.25. I'm sorry. Get a bonus of 0. 0.25. It get a bonus. It'd be 1.25 Pikmin. It rounds that up. We're going to get actually two Pikmin from the thing. And naturally, uh, if more Pikmin are carrying uh, a pellet, then it, they actually carry it a lot faster. So, for example, I think I could put two Pikmin on a one pellet. So those two will carry it much faster than the one that was carrying it by itself before. You can actually see it in comparison here. And they'll all work together faster as well. It, it, takes, it takes a lot less for them to break it down when they work together. This game is, just like the one before, this game is all about management of time and resources. You see at the very end, the two that were carrying it, carrying the one pellet, 
carried it much faster than the one carry and the one pellet, which is which is what's supposed to happen. Okay, one of the things I was saying about this game being somewhat easier is the fact that la the la like I said, the last game I did not I absolutely did not believe that I was going to be able to beat it because I know for a fact that game was that hard. Um and it was the game was actually so hard that it it made them tone this one down a little bit. It's still pretty hard, but it's not as difficult or impossible feeling. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate. I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with Olimar first. Can you see him? Press L to move the camera behind you, R to zoom, and Z to change angles. Okay, so we need to find Olimar. This is my camera. This is zooming out. I actually normally play with it zoomed all the way out, but for this this bit early on, we'll, we'll do it this far. And then Z. Okay, I don't need that. That's why I put that there. Okay. So let's see. We got these bags here. These bags are in our way. Uh, in the previous game, it was a, a what was it, a, a cigarette carton that we need to push out the way. Pushing ain't going to work here. So let's see. This bag, I believe what we can do is, ah, yes. We can throw our Pikmin atop it to make it smaller. But it looks like that ain't going to work. We don't have enough Pikmin. So let's try this bit. No? That ain't, ain't going to work. No? Okay, there we go. Yes. So what I was saying before, the number on top is how many Pikmin I currently have working on whatever task. Uh, in this case, breaking down this barrier. I need a total of 15 Pikmin at least to uh, have enough weight to compress this bag. So I'll throw all these bad boys on this side. We only have 11 Pikmin with us here. So that's not enough. What I have to do is switch back to Olimar, and he's got five more Pikmin. So I'll make this a uh, possible task. The bag has been crushed. And the two have met back up. Captain Olimar, Louis, you are reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From now on, use B to form a single group, X to take solo action, and Y to change leaders. Okay, that's one of the things that actually makes this game much, much easier. The fact that I have two characters. Like I said, this game is all about time management and resource management. And one of the huge downfalls last time was that if I, let's say, okay, so I'm sending these Pikmin, they're carrying this bulb orb, and just like the pellet, uh, this is going to make nutrients that will make it possible to grow more Pikmin. Uh, now, let's say I'm sending them to the onion. Uh, but normally I don't want to just walk with them. This is wasting time. This is wasting time. I could be doing something else. So what I could do is explore a little bit. But since I have two leaders, I can separate them. What will happen is we'll all dissipate from each other. So I'm currently controlling Louie. Olimar is chilling right there. I can switch to him. And then the Pikmin are also just doing nothing right now. What I can do is gather a team with Olimar and have them go do something. And then I can have a team with Louis. I mean, right now I won't at the moment. I can send Louis back to the Onion to wait on any Pikmin that I would be sending that way. Uh, Pikmin that would be carrying stuff that would go back to the Onion or maybe even to the ship. Meanwhile, I can have Olimar doing something. Like I said, this is all about time and resource management. I can have them dig this out of the ground. And now another thing that makes this game different from the previous one is that last time we were trying to recover parts of the ship. We had a time limit in which we had to get so many ship parts or otherwise we would die. In this case, we're not looking for parts of our ship. Our ship's okay. Our ship is in one piece. What we are trying to do, though, is gather money, excuse me, enough money to get our, our company out of debt or the boss's company out of debt. Now, you see how very simply what I did was I switched from Louis to Olimar. It wasn't even a second thought for me. 
Uh, we need 20 Pikmin to carry this, but I only have 10 on me. I could have Olimar go back to Louie, but since Louie's already over here, I'm sorry, have Olimar go back to the Onion where there's more Pikmin. But since Louie's already here, what we can do is just switch to Louie and have him bring them over to where Olimar is. It's a much more efficient way of doing things. We can grab Olimar as well since this is the task that we're trying to accomplish here. And now with all 20 on the on the item what we can do is have them carry this back to the ship i'm gonna send olimar there because uh i mean why not and what i can do while they struggle to carry that <laughs> is explore a little bit see what else there is here in this world because like i said we don't i i, I don't i don't know where we are i don't know what's going on okay so let's see i'm currently controlling louis who is that blue triangle Blue arrow, whatever. That red circle is the Pikmin that are carrying the item. And they're going to carry it through here over to Olimar. Now, it looks like there's an area just past Olimar, so I guess I can switch and explore that area there. Uh, I might be able to go down here. It looks like it might be a, a blockade of some sort. Like, I can go upwards, but I can't go downwards. Uh, and then there's, I remember here, this is where the two bags were, the two paper bags. Or the two barriers, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's where the, the, the barriers were. So one of them we broke we kinda broke down. The other one's still there. So we won't be able to do that just yet, I don't believe. Uh like I said, let's switch to Olimar and have him explore this area up here. See if there's anything I can find. Nope. Nothing up here for us. Nothing that I notice at least. Alright, they're gonna come in here. I'll just wait here with Olimar. We'll switch back to Louie and we can explore some more. This is the onion. This is the area with the onion. Let's see, we didn't, oh, this is where I crash landed, isn't it? Yeah, I crashed here. I guess I could have, oh, that's my that's my emperor. I guess I can have them come back here and explore something. Maybe they'll know something that I don't know. It's always possible. It's always a possibility. See, it sounds like I'm catching up to them, actually. Because we've explored this entire thing. We don't really have to worry about too much. This is a courage reactor. This was actually one of my favorite parts of this game. The names of all the items that we can find. This is the courage reactors worth 280 Pocos. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think up catchy names for hit products. It is but one of many one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hakatate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. A wonderful first day. <coughs> just as in the previous game, we're just missing all the Pikmin to return to the onion. All right, and we're taking off. Remember, our ship isn't in peril. Our ship is actually okay right now. So we have no problem with leaving and coming back tomorrow. It looks like the onion is also leaving with us. That's dope. All right, so our funds earned. Last time it was important to keep track of how many uh, items we found, I'm sorry, parts of the ship we found, as well as how many Pikmin we had. Today, we care about how many items we found and how much it all is worth. It's interesting that 100 Pocos is one year's salary. So this is almost three years salary or more than three years salary. 
And now we care about how many Pikmin we have. We ran into the red Pikmin today. That's dope. Our count went up. Our count went up. I mean, naturally. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future depends on your efforts, so check your treasure hoard regularly. I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. Of course we're going to save. Uh, just like... Just like in the previous playthrough, I'm going to try and limit this to one day per episode. Uh, just like in the previous playthrough, the first day is the only day that's not timed. But more or less, uh, each day will be around the same time. I say more or less because there's, like I said, there's a lot of things that are different within this game. It's the same series, but they've changed a lot of things. And we're probably going to run into what's different in tomorrow's episode, guys. Check this out. Check. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm not doing, I'm not doing upload this every hour. This is going to be a regular playthrough. Tomorrow's the next episode. <laughs> Here we go. It's going to be a good show.